your life into nothing. No. Invest your life in God. The Bible says, He that seeketh to save his life shall lose it. But he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Invest your life in God. Tell somebody close to you, invest your life in God. Don't go for things. Go for the grace. The grace of God. And I want to prepare you for the days ahead. Let God fly you on eagle's wings and there will be a change. There will be a difference. Don't rely on yourself. Don't rely on your ability. As long as you can, God doesn't need to do anything. Until you are at your wit's end. But don't wait till you get there. Don't wait till you get to your wit's end. When you call, just look up to him and trust him and be piloted by his word. First Corinthians in chapter number one. Loba sakida hashin daradiga satlos. She pati a son jon se grida a cloris de sali. Ki bakthro le inga saste ki asto jesa ala cronde le gebato pratik. Jon glira ons koje satira a costale anjen salita. Parte gigon son jenda liron to clira at de barons. Zoje to pakida ando sateli i tradis do sonje. Le bon gros tika a son chale bagida ande dike soprat taliga onjon sala hallelujah things kiss go for one flat is tell on jeta pak fi so frot legion so like cash the sunny what is the spirit saying the spirit of god is telling us to listen to his word the spirit of god is telling us not to be hard of hearing but to be simply led by the Spirit. Simply led by the Word. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. The Spirit is saying, I'm calling my children to a higher walk with me. I'm calling my children to a higher level of the manifestations of the kingdom. That's what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit is saying, that the concerns of the past were not necessary. There's only one thing needful, he says. Knowing my will for your life, saith the Lord, and walking according to that revelation. That's what the Holy Ghost just said. Hallelujah. I said, that's what the Holy Ghost just said. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. From verse 26, chapter 1, 1 Corinthians. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, he didn't say not any. He said not many. There are few. There are not many. Not many wise men after the flesh. Why? Because the wisdom of the flesh will not let them come in. Not many mighty. Because by strength shall no man prevail. Not many noble are called. I'll read something to you in a moment. But God hath chosen. Everybody say chosen. 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 See, God has a choice. If God decides to make the youngest person in your family the greatest, you cannot challenge it. Man can only take away from you what man gives to you. What man didn't give you, 
He cannot take. He may try. But he can't. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Sadahashis. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. 